What's going on world? It's your boy Z and welcome to a new series called Perfecting the Basics where I work on doing just that and that's perfecting the basics, sharing and documenting my journey along the way. Today we're going to be focusing on shovets, both front shovets and back shovets and basically the objective of this series and you know the goal of what I'm trying to do is land 10 clean shovets, uh, at least for this episode, episode one, focus on shovets, landing 10 clean shovets, both backside and front side. Clean will be determined by how I feel about the trick, how I felt it looked and how it feels. And uh, I'm just going to kind of talk through where my head's at when I mess up, talk through, you know, what I think uh, I did wrong there and, and just make the proper adjustments. So today's focus is on progression, just getting better and just uh, mastering the basics. So with that being said, <clears throat> we're going to start with uh, what I think is going to be a little bit easier, which is going to be backside shovets. And then we're going to get into front shoves, which is uh, kind of the inspiration for this little mini series here, because I've been struggling with front shoves and really want to get them consistent, really want to get them kind of as a, you know, one of those nonchalant tricks like I can, like I have kind of backside, if you will. So let's work, get better, progress and uh, and have some fun. So. I'll give you guys the thumbs up or not if I think it was a good one or I'll just say, you know, I'll just count it uh, to the to the tally. But uh but yeah, let's have ourselves a day and get a little better, shall we? So I'll take that second one, we'll call that one. But really what I'm focused on doing, and I apologize about the wind, it's one of those days. I'm just gonna try to do less talk first thing. But really what I'm thinking about doing as I do the shove it is just make sure first and foremost my weight is centered right i'm balanced i'm on the balls of my feet and then when it comes to the shove it it's really all in the back foot here so what i'm gonna what i want to focus on doing is popping straight down you don't want to kind of pop and get the shove it going you want to pop straight down once the tail smacks the ground then you kind of flick it back catch it with the front foot stomp it out so a little easier said than done but that's what i'm going to try to focus on doing doing it all in one fluid motion and um just getting better at them, getting them more consistent, and getting these tricks on lock. So we got one out of ten. Let's keep it rolling. Woo I think I hit a little something there, so that felt a little funny. I think it's just because of that, but we'll take that trick. We got two. I was on, on my heels too much there. Too far back there. Three. Ah, a little far back call that four still on four so there's kind of two types of ways I go about this trick the kind of a nonchalant shove if you will we'll call that five and then I've been working on really popping them so I can pop up and onto things that's kind of the next step in progression, but we're working on it. So we're at five. Let's see if we can pop this one a little high. Yeah. Almost fucking smashed my shin right there. All right, still, still at five. And that just goes to show how strong this wind is right now. All right, I'm gonna stop talking because this multitasking kind of just throws me off. I'm just gonna try to get in the zone and tap in. Ah. Let me see, that was six right there. Uh, I didn't like how far back I was on that. We're still at six. Oh, oh man, that was being lazy. I figured I could wear shorts today, shorts today because I'm not really flicking the board, but still almost just took off my kneecap right there. We'll say that was seven since it was off, a, you know, off a nice little uh, little drop there, if you will. For, for it being the last one. Let's try to pop it and get ready for the front shot. 
<laughs> oh, sketch. And that one felt. That one didn't feel the best. All right, last one. See that other one, the second one? Didn't do the full rotation. That last one, I was too far on my heels. That one too far back. This one, we're gonna just be centered, focused, and just let it happen. Ah, I didn't like that. We'll take that. We'll do a little flip trick and reset. All right, front shove time. Let's go. See, front shove is the same thing, just the other way. I'm gonna try to snap straight down. First and foremost, have my body weight centered, balanced. Balls, balls on my feet with my weight. Snap straight down. Once I feel my tail hit the ground, just push it forward and do the same thing the other way. Let's see how we uh, let's see how we do. I've been noticing that my front shelves just they're really not it. So I'm probably gonna look to you guys that are watching this if you got front shelves down or consistent or looking good. Leave a comment below if you guys got any tips for me. But I'm gonna try my best and uh, kind of talk through what I'm going through. Oh. All right, all right, I'm not talking anymore because this is one I need to really just focus on. Well, this could be a long video. <clears throat> you know, we'll take that for one. We'll take that for one. But I noticed, I don't know what it is, but every time I do the front shove, I land and my hands just like, kind of just like, go crazy they just go straight up and it's like I'm fucking <laughs> about to lose all my balance or something so I'm trying to get it more like casual how I have the backside shows we'll take two all right starting to find it snap straight down oh that was it fuck okay I see it emphasize that snap straight down Right when that tail hits, just like that. Give it a nice little push. Ah, nope. See, this is gonna be good to watch back because I can re-watch the ones I make that feel good, see what I'm doing differently, as opposed to the ones that I'm not making and that are kind of coming off a little more funny. Are we at two or three? Let's see. We'll just say two because we need to work on this trick. All right, let's go. Time to tap in. What I'm also trying to do is just make it all one fluid motion and make sure to jump backwards. Because when the board does its front shove, it's going a little bit back. Just like when it's doing its back shove, it's going a little forward. So making sure I jump back and can find it. Ah, I don't like any of those. Still at two. Like that one. Three. Woohoo! That one was a little bit kind of. We'll call it four. Ooh. We got someone slamming on the brakes. God forbid someone has to pull out of a parking spot. It's not like there's not a cop right there, I'm literally looking them right in the eyes. I don't know if you guys can see all that. Whatever. As long as he's not bothering me. And that one felt a little weird, so we're staying at four. I like that, I like that. We'll call it five, even though I didn't like it too much. It felt alright. Let's 
see a lot of times with my front shoves I get I get that ghost pop and ghost pop is basically where you just do the front shove without your tail ever hitting the ground and that just shows me I need to really make that emphasis and focus on snapping this straight down and then flicking out because that's kind of what seems to be the root of my problem is not getting that initial snap from the go so let's see where are we at five let's get five more in a row and then you know in the theme of uh shove it we'll finish on one one clean big spin i haven't done a big spin in whew, quite some time so this will be a good excuse to to get one and finish on the bang if you will yeah. i like how that one popped but i didn't like something about it i didn't really like i don't know what it was but i like how i snapped straight down and then just pushed it out Ooh, that was it six focus on that yup my tail hit or my foot hit there but yeah focus on that tail hitting that's where i'm finding the most success when i really just emphasize that first step was snapping that thing straight down all right what do we have five six i think we're at six As you can see, I need a lot of help with this trick. So I'm here for all the critiquing and criticism or whatever you want to call it. All the tips I can get. See, that was a nice ghost pop. You know, I, I didn't like that completely, but enough to, to take it. So we'll see seven. These next three gotta be nice. I know the wind's probably annoying as far as like watching this video, but for me right now, this is the best thing that could happen. Whew. What a day. This is what it's all about right here. Wouldn't want it any other way. Out here on my lunch break, getting that work in, getting better, leaning too far back there, but that's how you make the proper adjustments eight ah too far forward there two more let's go <laughs> i get in my head every time i use the nose as a tail because like i said my problem is that first initial snapping of the board and the nose if you aren't aware is takes more time to snap and get to the ground than the tail does so that's why I like to use my tail with the front shoves especially just to ensure I can avoid that ghost pop as much as possible but let's finish strong here we'll take that right, let's finish on the nose just, to... Ooh. just so I can get that out of my head Get those excuses out of my head. All right, we're tapping in here. Keeping my shoulders square, parallel with the board. Not putting too much weight forward or back or turning them, twisting them. Trying to keep it like this. Yup, that's the one. Parallel to the board and let that back foot do what it has to do. So we'll finish on that. One more for good luck. Just because I don't know if I did five or six earlier. Last front shove. Ah. But I needed this though. That's why I'm doing this series. I need an excuse to just focus and dedicate myself to doing these tricks. I'm gonna be better for it in the long run. This board also I've been riding for. Uh, too much weight on my on my back there. Too much my weight was too far back there. I've been riding this board for 
seven, eight months now though. It's about time we switch it up, get a little freshy for summer. This one had a good, happy life. It's still got a lot of life left in it, but seven, eight months is, is quite the run for a deck. But let me not deceive you guys. This is not my only board, so don't, so don't think like, this, you know, I've had a board last me seven, eight months. I have two boards actually, just, just so you know, this right here is my street board. It's just got softer wheels. This one has the uh, Dragon Formulas. I got one they first released the other year, however many years ago that was now, two or so. And then this one has titanium trucks. Whereas my uh, my park board has, you know, Spitfire 101Ds, the hardest durometer wheels. Still in the mids, but I don't think it's the titanium on my street board. But not too many differences, really mostly just the wheels. These crusty, you know, crusty and uh, just sketchy spots here on the east coast especially in the northeast here in massachusetts these dragon formula wheels are a must i did get the spitfire uh whatever they call them the reynolds 93 whatever's uh, i'm looking forward to trying those out but as you can see i haven't really worn these down too much so i don't feel like i need to force new wheels you know we'll get there but anyways let me stop talking let me finish strong on the front shove while i can still do them Okay. Ooh, I kind of liked both of them in their own way. Like if those were put together, I'd be very satisfied. But let me get three in a row just to, eh, that's not it. Ooh. I mean, we did take uh, one of the back shoves off the, off this big drop here. Let's see if we got a front shove for it. I was not <laughs> I was not expecting to land on that I didn't like that one how it felt so all right last front shot and we out of here <sighs> all right reset reset again focus on that first step that snapping straight down Feel that thing hit the ground, push it out, watch it turn, catch it. Eh. Oh, that could have been it. Slightly over rotated there. But I felt good. It felt right. That's where we want to be. <laughs> All right, last one. We, we still got a big spin to do, so. Let's remember that. I kind of like that one in the middle there, but not enough to be an under. Ooh. We're starting to find it though. And that's what this is all about. Perfecting the basics not gonna happen unless you put the work in uh, <laughs> we've been stuck on 10 for like 10 minutes here all right let's go see how I freaking wail my arms up if you know why I'm doing that let me know because as you can see with my back shows hands you know casual front shows they always fucking fly up but right, let's not get caught up on that today baby steps we'll get there all right last clean front shot for y'all i did like that but there's a little sketchy my foot almost my back foot almost got stuck under the board and didn't make it on all right last one then we'll go for the big spin gonna take that obviously if you didn't get the the hint when I went for that big spin. Alright big spin we out. Just one clean one. 
we'll get to the point where we uh, get to big spins and have to do 10 of them. Well, in the name of progression, we got to build up to it. We got to get switch shoves down first too. We're just getting started here, but let's finish here, finish strong, call it a day. All right, here we go, I ain't messing around anymore. I felt it. See, this one is all around the area here in this back foot. Instead of putting my foot in the middle of the board, I'm putting more up here and really just whoosh, trying to whip that thing. This is another trick I'm working on, so I don't really have tips and as to how I do it. But I'm gonna watch this back and try to learn a little bit more about what's going on. See, that one felt good is in the sense that it popped, it spun, it had that kind of scoop. Now I just gotta land it. Okay. All right, this is the one here. Maybe I need, I need to do like I did after the back shove. Little flip trick and reset, so. A little sketchy, but for today, We'll take it. I don't want to get caught up on the big spin. That's not what I'm here for. I'm here for perfecting the basics, getting the shoves down, satisfied in the work and the results from today. We're going to keep building on them, getting that foundation right. And then we're going to keep building on that foundation. We'll get to the big spins and perfecting those. Like I said, today's, that's not the, that's not what we're here for today. So I'll take that one we just take, that we just made and make is a make. Like I said, that wasn't the focus. I'm happy with the with the shoves. But comment below. Let me know what you guys think about this uh, little, what I call it, perfecting the, uh, or mastering the, mastering the, perfecting the basics. Yeah, perfecting the basics. Mastering the basics, whatever I'm calling it. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below if you got any tips for me. Uh, leave a thumbs up if you want me to make more of these or comment below if you got any suggestions as far as the next trick slash tricks we do i appreciate you guys for watching it's a beautiful day to get out there and get better keep progressing keep working and remember just to have fun with it until the next one much love